Coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! <laughs> I'm in such a good mood today. Like, okay, normally I'm in a very good mood, but today I just, maybe it's because it's the end of the month and then April is here and the weather's warming up. I don't know what it is. I really don't care to find out what it is. I'm just happy I'm in such a good mood and I hope you are too. Good morning. So it is the end of the month or the beginning of the month. I don't know when I'll upload this video, but I just want to say happy March is over. It's time for April. It's time for spring showers. It's time for warm, warmer weather and beautiful blossoms. So I'm very, very excited and I'm very excited because you know, these are my favorite videos to watch. I love watching monthly favorites. So let me share my monthly favorites with you guys and you guys are gonna laugh because this is going to seem like a commercial for Anastasia Beverly Hills products. So you guys have seen uh, my eyebrow, well you guys notice my eyebrows in most of my videos. I don't have eyebrows, so I color them in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I've said multiple times that the Anastasia Brow Wiz changed my life. It just, it makes me feel confident. It gives me the brows that I never thought I would have. And I just love the Brow Wiz. But lately, I don't know, now that the season is warming up, I feel like they sometimes they can look a little bit too harsh. So I started to kind of play around with different products and I've recently fallen in love with the Anastasia Brow Powders and this is in the color medium brown. So if you guys can see in the little pan, there's two different colors. There's like a really light, almost like a camel, ashy brown and then a darker ashy brown and so what I've been doing and I don't know if you guys have noticed maybe <laughs> maybe it's not even obvious is I've just been lining the bottom part of my eye of my eyebrows and then I fill in the rest of the brows with um, the powder and a spoolie and angled brush so Basically, I'll do the bottom line with my brow is and then I'll take the angled brush You guys can see the tiny little angle on the tip and I'll just jam it into the powder and then make little brush strokes going up And so I think maybe my brows look they still look bold which I love bold brows But they just don't look as dark next Anastasia product you could probably guess is the contour kit and I didn't think I was going to like this and I didn't think I was going to need it because like I've told you guys before, I'm a stay at home mom. I love to be home with my tater. I love to cook and I don't love to clean, but I do do it. So I'm like, well, you know, how often am I going to use a contour kit? I'm not a pro, but it is so awesome. I love today. I'm wearing this, um, almost like orangey Brown and you can't even tell that it's an orangey Brown, um, used the right way. All of these colors are really incredible. Um, I know a lot of you said, Hey Danny, I can't find it. It's out of stock. I know it will be back in stock probably in April or May. And when it comes back in stock, it's all also going to they're also going to release new colors I don't know if it's going to be another six pan set with darker colors or if they're going to be individual pans so you can make your own palette but it is definitely a really cool um, palette it's a really good concept that I didn't think I would need and now I feel so happy that um, I was able to try it and fall in love with it I use this one to set my under eye I use this to kind of um, set my foundation or any other areas of my face and then I love this as a soft pearly highlight and then of course you have your pick of browns I've used these two already and I really like them so Use the right way. These powders can be really life-changing. <laughs> and the last item from Anastasia Beverly Hills is her concealers. Her concealers are new. Um, and when they arrived, I was like, uh, potted concealers make me a little nervous, to be honest, because usually potted concealers are really thick and creamy. And they can be a little daunting, hard to use, uh, kind of cakey. So I, I, I had one of those terrible Danny moments where I'm like, I'm not going to like that. Don't even want to use it. But of course, Coffee Break Research called and I, I thought, you know, I'm not, 
I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing and that that is having an open mind about new products so I cracked these puppies open this is in the shade 1.0 and this is in the shade 2.5 her concealer shades are divided into three categories there's cools warms and neutrals follow her on Instagram and you will see each of the models um, skin tones and you'll know which color to find I'm 2.5 as in under eye concealer and this is my salmon concealer to conceal like the under eye circles the really darkness or if I have a blemish this is the one I would use I like 1.0 because it's very yellow and very bright like very white pale so I use that to highlight my face. I'm actually wearing this kind of in the middle parts of my face and then I just have a little bit of this in the under eyes to um, hide my under eye circles. These um, concealers are so soft and creamy that they can be used as a foundation. Now I don't know how you would want to use it as a foundation because it's a really small pot but they can be used as a foundation so they're multifunctional. Definitely um, mixable so they're soft enough where you could mix them on a palette and then make your own color they definitely have been um, my favorite this month um, I have used them more to highlight and define my face as an under eye concealer I don't hate it I like it but it's not a life-changing concealer I'd rather use my Mac Pro Longwear or my Lancome concealer than this one it feels a little bit heavy it will crease you do have to set it so it is I would say it's more of like a face um, a face concealer a blemish concealer a concealer that you could use to to do a cream highlight or contour um, so really good quality super silky but under eye probably not so much but I still like them next product is nail polish I actually found these at CVS and I'm not gonna lie I basically wanted them because of the colors I was like uh, Rimmel nail polishes I have a ton of nail polish already do I really need nail polish but the colors just drew me in especially this blue it is so pretty I don't know how spring appropriate it is but I really don't care I just had it on my nails the other day I showed you guys on Instagram I believe and these are the Rimmel Salon Pro with Lycra 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 um, these polishes are really thick and opaque two coats and your nails look bomb but they are the kind of polishes that don't chip rather peel so they'll kind of like unstick to your nail uh, which is a good thing I don't like when nail polishes chip I don't wear nail polish for too long maybe three days four days at the most and I'll change it again so I really don't mind but it doesn't peel it just lifts so it'll get caught in like your hair or your clothes and then you kind of get tempted to peel it off and when you peel it the whole nail comes off like the whole shape of your nail whatever wherever you added the nail lacquer it just comes off so some people think that kind of nail polish is fun and it's very affordable. I think these are like $4 each and there's a coupon and you guys know how I feel about my drugstore sales. <laughs> Next products I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I'm not a big fan of like gimmicky stuff, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Like stuff that is too, stuff that's too specific for what it does. Like this one little tiny baby thing is just to do this one little tiny thing. This tiny little baby thing is to do this one little tiny thing. It's like, I want something that's more multi-purpose, that's, that's going to be more productive in my life. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So I kept seeing these La Fresh um, wipes on Hot Look, um, that flash sale website. And every time they would come out, I was like, do people really buy these wipes? Like, they're just little individually packaged wipes. What a waste of, like, product. Why not get just, like, a big giant canister of wipes? But I was like, okay, you got to give them a chance. And I mean, they have insect repeller wipes. They have feminine hygiene wipes. They have deodorant wipes. They have nail wipes, makeup wipes, antibacterial wipes, 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 like so many different kinds of wipes. And each wipe is like a different color. So I thought I decided to give them a shot. Coffee break research purposes, obviously. And I am so impressed. Like 
Yeah, this company, all they do is wipes for good reason because they are so practical. The first one that I want to share with you guys is definitely my favorite of the three, and that is the nail polish remover pad. This is supposed to be one pad removes all the polish on 10 nails. I don't think that's true. I have to use two of these pads, one per hand. Um, and look at the this is I saved I'm so ghetto I saved the pad just to show you the size of it oh see see the color this is this color <laughs> I can prove I was wearing it so this is the size of the pad it's almost like a it feels like a piece of felt and it smells almost like eucalyptus like vitamin E or aloe and when you remove your nail polish it is really weird because it leaves it leaves your cuticles and your nails like glossy, like like moisturized and glossy, but it actually takes off the polish. I've tried nail polish wipes from a brand that rhyme with Lozy Coran. <laughs> Her nail polish wipes are so bad. These actually work and your nails do not be, they don't feel dried out or they don't look white or you know how when you um, remove your nail polish with acetone, how it leaves your cuticle looking white? These don't do that. These leave your nails looking glossy and your cuticle feeling moisturized. So they're pretty cool. Then the other two that I really enjoy are the lens and screen wipe. These are for like your computer, your tablet, cell phones, and the facial cleansing. Sometimes I'm at home with my son and I'm not wearing any makeup, but my face will feel a little grungy like later in the day. And I'll just grab one of these and wipe my face and it feels really, really good. Yes, I saved it just to show you guys how big it is. So you'll know, I mean, this is, and they're super damp, so it covers your entire face. The, um... Lens and computer wipe, I saved the wipe too, but I'm not even gonna show it. It's almost the same size as this one. Um, I can only clean one monitor at a time because it kind of dries up really fast because it's alcohol, um, but it works really good. My computer has never looked more clean in its life. So the next two products that I wanna show you are more like bathroom related. Well, not really bathroom. I have them in my bathroom, which is probably why I say that. One is a hairspray and this is the Tresemme Firm control, firm control hairspray. But even though it's this firm control, it's a touchable hairspray. Uh, I was staying at my mom's house like a year ago and I my hair was just out of control. She lives in California, so you know, the Pacific Ocean is there. My hair is like an afro the entire time I'm there because of the humidity. And I asked her for hairspray and this is the one she uses. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is like grandma hairspray. So I was being a total bee about it and when I used it, I totally fell in love. But I forgot which one it was. When I was at Target the other day, I bought it, and this is the only hairspray that I see myself using for like the rest of my life. It makes your hair, your hair touchable and pliable and movable, but it holds your style. So it's almost like an invisible, an invisible, if you guys hear my dogs barking, it's because they're outside and they're being obnoxious. <laughs> Sorry. It's like an invisible, like, magnetic force field that just holds your style in place and your hair doesn't feel crunchy. It doesn't get flaky, crusty, there's no residue. It's really incredible. So the next time you're at like Target, check this out. It's really cool and it smells so good. I really, really like how it smells. So for those of you that don't like that crunchy look, this is a really nice hairspray and it's so big, it'll last you forever. The next product is a lotion, and every year I look forward to Victoria's Secret during the spring because their pink line has the best body lotion of life. I am that woman that stalks Victoria's Secret around spring until they launch their spring line. These are always limited edition scents, which really depress me. So I get like six bottles and they'll last me the whole year. And this is the body lotion that I like to use because it smells really good, but it's not offensive and it makes your body feel moisturized without feeling greasy. This one is called Wild in Pink and it is Caribbean Mango and Violet. I just, I can't describe it except that it, it, it makes you, it makes you smell delicious. Like it, it makes you smell like beachy and sexy and just ready for a bikini and a pina colada. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I look forward 
to the spring break collection at Victoria's Secret every year. Get yourself like four or five, maybe six of these little tubs and they'll last you all year round and then cry when you run out because it's basically limited edition. So the next year they'll come out with a different array of scents. So every year I have to find my favorite and I usually always find one that's similar to the previous years. But definitely like this and they always have them on promo some kind of promo where you buy a certain amount and you get them The more you buy the cheaper they get and you may even get a free item. I got a free lotion So I can't complain and the last Product of my monthly favorites. I'm sorry. This video is so long for having such little products. I really did talk a lot so I get so excited with monthly favorites you guys know that a couple Maybe a month ago, I posted a video on a new Olay line that I was trying out, um, the Olay Luminous, um, and in that line was an eye cream. This is the Hydra Swirl. It's like a gel with eye cream mixed in, but it has like little pearly particles that make your face or your eye area glow. I really liked that glowing factor about it, but I didn't feel that it was moisturizing my eye area. And I noticed that my inner corner crustiness was coming back. You guys know I have like those lizard skin inner corners. So I had to go back and it was like the perfect test to see if I had found my holy grail eye cream. Yes. You heard it here first. Danny found her holy grail eye cream. I have tried so many eye creams. You guys know I rant about it in so many of my videos that no eye cream works. They all suck. I'm super depressed. I found it, girls. I found it. I found it. It's amazing and it's not super expensive. It is the Derma Doctor Rescue and Protect Eye Balm. You can tell how much I love this because this one is currently empty. This I think is maybe $50 at Sephora. It is supposed to be a super intense hydrating eye cream. I don't have a dry eye area. I just have a crusty inner corner. I don't know why. Maybe it's, an, it's a reaction. Maybe it's age. Maybe it's, I don't know what it is, but I have a really dry inner corner. And so, uh, I was so depressed. I walked into Sephora. I was about to splurge on the Caudalie eye cream, the really expensive French brand. I think it costs like $150 for the eye cream. And I just walked in depressed like, okay, I'm ready to give you my money. Just give it to me. I'm ready to go home. Whatever cures this flaky, crusty eyelid. And one of the girls at Sephora was like, can I show you something that's cheaper and I like better? And I was like, yes, girlfriend, you can show me whatever you want as long as it's cheaper. And she pointed me to this. I've been using it for two months, maybe. Yeah, I would say two months. And I am so happy. It moisturizes your eye area. It is created by dermatologists and ophthalmologists. So you could use it all over your eye area from your eyebrows all the way down to like your cheekbones. So eyelids everywhere. It's super moisturizing, but it's not greasy. It actually gets absorbed and it removes your crusty lizard inner corners if you guys have those. Not to mention it also has anti-aging properties and anti-wrinkle goodness. So you guys, if you are on the same page as me where you have struggled to find your eye cream, go to Sephora, ask them for a sample, try it out, and I hope this is also going to be your holy grail eye cream because I never thought the day would come where I would say, I found my holy grail eye cream, and it's definitely this one. So what I have been doing is I use this one, and then I take a little bit of the Olay one during the day, and I just pat the Olay one on the on the under eye area on top of my eye cream and it still gives me that like glowy look but I still feel like I'm getting the benefits of my derma doctor. And that is it for my monthly favorites. They will all be listed down below in the description box. I am so sorry I took so much of your time but you guys know if they're my monthly favorites they are my favorites so I have a mouthful to share of every single one of these items with you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know that you did by giving me a thumbs up or subscribing if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.